Anna's Food Show, your favorite food and lifestyle show. The assurance for your well-being. So we have a very simple recipe today. It is with pasta and beef. And uh, we've got onions, tomatoes, and for our seasoning, we've just got garlic, basil. Do you recognize this name? Yes. Basil. Basil. A local name called Manjo. Okay. And then uh, we've got another interesting. Can you maybe tell me what this might be? Uh, no way. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry right now, so maybe ah, I, bush my, sen my sense is all right. Bush got it. Pepper. I don't know if it has an English name or well, we just know it locally as bush pepper, right? And then we've got thyme and salt. So very simple to do. So you're going to be doing the stirring. I'll be doing the putting. That's easy. Okay. Now, we start with some oil. Uh, just about a couple of tablespoons of oil. And uh, get it heated up. So we want it hot, so when we get our beef on there, it just sizzles right away, okay? So maybe you'll put the beef in. Is there any particular format? Put in there or dump it in there? Just put it right in. Oh man. And we, we cut it really thin, like you're making soya. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then it will cook fast. If you get crushed by oil, it will be a sign that you were here. That's what I heard. Just dump it in. Just dump it in. Or just dump everything in? Yes, yeah, just put it All right in. There we go. Brown. So while we're stirring it now, we'll, add, we'll start building up the spices. We'll add kimala bush pepper. If you don't have that, you can use just regular black pepper. But this is a little bit more small pungent. Okay. Yeah. Is it hot? It's like the meat. Yeah. Okay. And then also, when you put your spices now, the heat actually brings out the oils that make the spices have their unique flavor. So the spice flavor actually starts coming out now. And get it already. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of time. Okay. We'll keep stirring. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So by the time the beef is really thin, so that by the time we're even done frying, it should already. So we'll go ahead now and add the uh, onion. Oh, I still have to chop up a parsley. Oh, my parsley. Basil. There we go. You know, this, this is the concept of farm to fork. Yes, farm to fork, really. Very interesting. This is part of your chain of what you do, what well, you're doing. We're doing all of this together, so yes. you do one part, I do the other one, right? You do the growing, I do the cooking. <laughs> okay, so I'll just chop up our basil. Again, I'm not chopping it really fine, just nice slices here. So that the meat, okay, the meat is releasing its juices. Okay, now I'll leave the tomato to add a little bit towards the end so it, keeps, it preserves the integrity of the flavor. Okay. And also the, the shape. We want chunks of tomatoes in it. Normally, our typical cooking here, let's centralize it. Yeah. Okay. Our typical cooking, we have to, we, you know, chop our tomatoes really fine to get soft. This is just like an all-in-one. So we'll save the tomatoes for later when we actually cook the meat for a while. Okay. So if you just keep stirring, and the meat is actually frying off. So I'm basically frying the meat, pan frying the meat. So we cut it really thin so that it will cook fast. Okay, now look. Looking brown. I am salivating, so <laughs> it's, uh, okay. it's getting more and more difficult Ooh. the more time we spend on here. Alright, to help you, we put the tomatoes in. Alright. Now, typically here in our cooking, we grind down our tomatoes so we make a tomato sauce. I say tomatoes, this is tomatoes or tomatoes? Both. Both, okay. 
Alright. Thank you, Sherry. So we preserve the integrity of the tomatoes by adding it now. Okay. Uh, Ready, right? This is delicious. Yes. So then we'll go ahead, I'll go around behind you here, and we will add our pasta. Okay. Am I doing this right? Yes, you are. Alrighty. Definitely. Go ahead, just keep stirring. Okay. Well, we don't want to overfill our pot. We don't want it to break. Or you're, in, you're in Cameroon. Yes. Oh, we love to eat. Okay. We love a lot of it too, so. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we're nice. See, we're almost getting done, huh? Yes. Uh -huh. I'll just sprinkle a little bit more pepper. Alright, just mix that in and then dash more salt. Just a dash. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ah, yummy, yummy, yummy. This is a one quart dish, all in one. And you can add vegetables as you like. You can add carrots, you can add green beans, basically whatever more you like to add to it, you can add. So it makes it nice and versatile. Okay. So. Are you ready to taste it? I've been ready oh, an hour okay. ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, here, so we'll do this. We'll get this nice. Oh, uh, is this done? Yeah, because oh. we pre cooked our pasta. Okay, okay. So we pre boiled the pasta, so it's all easy to come together. Sweet. Nice and easy if you're a busy person and you can just throw that in together uh, for your family. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn off the heat. Okay. And I'll help you dish it out. Thank you. Cooking so okay, made it easy, I guess. Yes, cooking okay, made easy. That's what the Anne show is all about, making it easy for people. We thank God for you. <laughs> thank you. We thank God for you also growing good, healthy vegetables for us. Ah, there we go. I wish some members of the audience could be here to uh, get a taste of this. Yeah, they will have to cook at home All right. and try and do it. Unfortunately, they wouldn't get almost everything that we got, though. Huh? Yes, yeah, so that they learned too. <laughs> okay. So, I'll um, just dish out a little bit for you. Is it just trying or the well, main dish? You can try now and then we can get into it later. Hmm. Yes. Okay. What a day. Is it? So you don't want to try some? No, I don't need to. I'll just... Oh, I took all the tomatoes. Oh, go ahead. Oh, man. Mm. 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 You just have to try this at home, actually. You started my mid this. <laughs> I did it. And I'm sure with your tomatoes, it would even give it a burst, a fuller burst of flavor because those your tomatoes are really fresh and robust. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the show. I hope that you've been able to capture something about greenhouses and greenhouse uh, vegetables. And also a very simple dish that you can try and uh, wow your family with. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next show and bon appetit.